Well, hello, lords and ladies, and happy new year. Hopefully everybody's having a good start to their year. I know it's early, so, for some of you, so you might not have gotten started yet, depending on your festivities last night. Um, we did get a lot of things done yesterday, so we'll hopefully show those off um, later this afternoon, or later this morning. But, I went back and forth on what game to play next, and I landed on Dyson Sphere. So, I've played this before, uh, but it's been a while, so I have to give me some, uh, some leeway. Okay. So, this is the start of their new combat system. We're gonna leave it like normal. Um, I think that's good. Again, I think we go up to uh, usually times two. We're gonna leave it times one. Uh, just your basic settings. Um, and I think. I think this is gonna be okay. Um. So, you know what? Let's do it. I don't want to fiddle around with the settings too much. The unknown. Created in exploration. The seed. Evolves in iteration. From zero. Transforming into infinity. And beyond. It spreads and becomes the shadow of the galaxy. The stars dim. You will embark on a new journey. The goal is still to build a Dyson Sphere, right? Sami system. Welcome to the real universe. Very soon, You'll find this place different from our homeland. But you should be able to adapt to the laws of physics here in no time. I'm your advisor. I will assist you in completing this mission. Thank you, buddy. You can assist me until we get you know, <coughs> on point. Everything here belongs to you. As a member of the Cosmo, Pioneer of the Dyson Sphere program, you will explore this cluster from ground zero. Make use of the resources available here to build a Dyson Sphere that supplies energy to the center brain to maintain homeland simulation. I've chosen a planet for the mission, and there are essential resources for the initial development. Now, please pilot the space capsule toward this planet. Santo. 
Unknown EM signals detected. Extracting feature variables. Comparing with database. Those are highly likely anomalous mechanical bodies from the Mechanic Energy Program. Engineers call them dark fog. Dark fog is extremely sensitive to EM signals under a regular pattern, so they may launch an assault on us. To stay low profile, we will land on the other side of this planet. That doesn't feel me with the joint. Already on our planet? This is Icarus. Very powerful but lightweight industrial mecha. Use the direction keys or click the right mouse button on the ground to move the mecha. In this mission, you'll control your mecha to navigate the universe and create miracles. Now please try to disassemble the space capsule. Click the right mouse button to proceed. Okay. To collect resources like wood or gravel, click the right mouse button as well. In addition, you can hold shift and click the right mouse button on each of your targets to give a series of commands. Some items are found after disassembling the space capsule. Click on the inventory button at the bottom right corner of the screen to open and check. Um, first playthrough under the new system, um, with Dark Fog. I played uh, a long time ago, uh, but it's been a while since I played. You can hold the middle mouse button to rotate the camera, or scroll the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. If you need help, press G to open the guidebook for detailed instructions. Well good, then we'll get us... <laughs> it's a good game. Although I'm worried about this dark fog. I'm, I don't want the game to become... a combat simulator, you know what I mean? In the planet view, you can hold the middle mouse button to rotate the camera. Yeah. Hold the right mouse button to roll the camera. Press N to align the camera to the North Pole. Yep. In the planet view, scrolling the mouse wheel also enters the star map. Construction menu is locked. Complete a technology research to unlock it. Click on the technology tree button at the bottom right corner of the screen to open the technology tree Wait, and start a research. Different... <laughs> Alright, we're gonna activate this, which we need magnetic coils. Hey, not a problem. Oh, crap, what's our build? F, 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 sir. So we need these and these. Okay. We're gonna some iron. I don't know at what point do we need to worry about uh, the dark fog. I don't even know how to deal with the dark fog. Um, but all I do know is it's it's on our planet. On the starting plant, so um, okay, we're gonna make as many, we're gonna make thirteen. Finish using items in it. Yeah. 
You know what? New type of automatic mining machine. With automatic mining or ore. Capacity is limited, so you might want to automatically deliver, deliver ores to smelters. Um, do we even have smelters? You've obtained a mining machine. It automatically collects ores for you. You can select it in the inventory or in the construction menu, collecting section, to start building it. Okay. Hold R to rotate the mining machine. The more veins it covers, the higher the output. To ignore grid snapping, hold shift. Yeah, here's one of my center lines, items. I'm pretty sure. Click on the replicator <coughs> there the used to be a way corner of the screen to open the replicator and manually replicate the get required the grid items. lines on here. A wind turbine. You've now built your first power grid. Some power facilities don't have a power supply range, so you'll need to extend the power grid coverage with Tesla towers. We should be able to move around with you. Was that when we were building? We can see the map. There's like, isn't there like a resource? No. Oh, uh, okay, so we need uh, certain. What do we got over here? Stones. is we're just taking the coal and uh, that's what's going to power our suit. We have power down here. Uh, I don't like using my the initial uh, capsules, the hydrogen fuel rods, because uh, I use I keep those for like emergency, especially in the beginning. So uh, what I like to do is just come on and find the nearest coal vein. And that usually works well. <coughs> you can use trees, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I think you can use any matter, yeah. So, you got options. The key is, at least what I remember, is to, uh, get some better, get some better time right here. I'll probably do some production up here. Get some stone, get some more copper. Not bad. Not bad. I 
do a little something over here. Yeah, I like the fact that I don't have to produce like everything in order. I can just say, hey, build, build me what I need. And it does it for me. You've built your first power transmission facility, a Tesla tower. It can help you transmit power wirelessly over a short range and extend the power grid coverage. Click on it to view more details. All right, so nor now, normally you have a very rigid uh, ability to place things, right? So this is gonna snap to the grid line, stuff like that. If you hold shift, you can manually do it. So like right now I can only get five, right? The more nodes, the faster your guy. Wow. If I hold shift, I can move it a little bit closer and get that six. So keep that in mind when you're uh, when you're doing things. That that is a, a real possibility and something that uh, that'll make your life a lot easier. And voila, we got smelters. Perfect. Uh, we can build glass, stone. You know what, we'll go throw one on stone. And what we were having. Right. One more. Three of these. Although I think what we'll do is just run individual. Because I'm only going to be running one uh, react. Or one of these. I know you don't have any power. You have an unpowered production facility. To make it run normally, place it within the power grid coverage. Yeah, make sure power is supplied. I really don't have a power grid right now. This is going to be what we're going to use to power our scene. And we're at that nasty part of the, you know, any game like this where you have to build things by hand and. You know. Alright, that looks like. So if you notice, there are. Some of the lines here are thicker than the other line, and that gives you major lines, what I, what I call major lines. So when we go to build our our power system for this world, um, I gotta remember how to do that. Alright, so before we can use our smelters really, we need the ability to move resources. So, we're producing one, one, two, ten. These give us two. <coughs> we're going to produce four. So now that's, and that's right there, that's your basic resources. Iron, coal, stone, copper. Your bases. And I'm pretty sure all the suit upgrades are blue matrix. They 
This is logistics. So, in your technology, you, you have your main technology screen. Oh, Full automation is now possible. Use a conveyor belt to transport ores collected in the mining machine. The sorter will transport ores onto the conveyor belt into the arc smelter that will smelt them automatically. Um, so we got this, this all is down here, weapon system is all new. Explosion um, cannon, what do we got? Plasma turrets, anti-matter capsules, destroyers, so we can build our own ships. Um, We want to finish up all the stuff that's not. So, see these blue, the electromagnetic matrices. That's that's your technology, basically, right? If we go here. You know, there's five different levels. This unlocks the last level, which unlocks your winning condition, right? But at the beginning of the game, you have these are all going to be blues. I would be shocked if they weren't. Um, at the beginning of the game, you got some stuff that's obviously um, Now, for a yellow line, which is a sh small belt, we can hold six smelters. You've built an arc smelter, which automatically produces basic materials, such as iron ingots and copper ingots. However, it? to automatically feed in raw materials and feed out products, sorters and conveyor belts are required. So the way it works. Oh, yeah, we don't know. Um this is got track. And then basically what happens is power. And then we say, hey, take that. The go. sorter is a connector that moves items between facilities. Simply bridge from a supplier facility to a receiver facility. Then the sorter will automatically transport the items. It's gotta be an easy one. Once a recipe is assigned, use less than key to copy the current okay. recipe. So those and are smelting, key right? To paste the recipe you need this. How do we set them up? Need iron. Warning. 
power grid is excessively overloading and facilities can't operate normally. Build more power generation facilities. Power grids are complicated. You must monitor both power consumption and power generation. Use an accumulator to balance peak and valley demands for electricity. storing items. You can manually store items or use a sorter to automatically access items. Yeah, you do have something. Just build this. Alright. If there isn't enough ground space, Make more efficient use of your space by stacking matrix labs, depots, storage tanks, and splitters. Yep, you can store vertically in this game. <coughs> like, I can stack another supply thing on top of him. And um, get double the. That's our first little animation. Oh, this one actually needs iron. Some things actually need iron. 